Welcome everyone. So today we're going to cover how you can get ready for testing Windows 11 with Windows 11 coming out on Tuesday. So in my console here, the very first thing I am going to do is I'm going to go create a smart group for just that purpose. So we're going to call this Windows 11 beta. And we're going to specify some devices that will get it. And so we're just going to add a couple of machines and so hit save. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go find my update profile here in Workspace ONE. Go into it. And I'm going to exclude out members of the Windows 11 beta. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're ready to we're ready to create a new Windows update profile. So we'll just copy this. No need to reinvent the wheel. We're going to call this Windows 11 beta. We're going to add that Windows beta group to it. Now we're going to go into updates. So what you're going to do is select Insider Fast as your build. And you'll just leave everything else the same. That's fine. We're going to save and publish. Now that we've done that, we're already starting to move along pretty good. So at this point, we're going to go to the updates section. Let's see if we can find it. Look at that. Windows 11 Insider Preview. So let's just be really sure that we're looking at the right thing. So we're just looking at what do we see here. So we're going to pick upgrade to Windows 11. That seems to make the most sense to me. Let's just sort by publish date. This looks like pre-release. This should be the right one. So we're going to take that, we're going to assign, and we're going to use our Windows 11 beta test group. So now that we did that, if we go in and we look at my device, you're going to see that it's going to it's going to start being given that Windows 11 beta. We go to updates. So we're going to make sure this device checks in and it syncs. We'll be back in a minute. So we're back, and one thing that we had to go and change real quick to make sure we got the desired result is make sure that you're deferring feature updates no more than seven days if you want that Windows 11 beta to hit your devices prior to testing. So you can see once I did that, I can now see that it has queued up the upgrade to Windows 11. So just that simple, and you'll be ready to get moving.